Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thank you for watching today. So I've got another collection to share. I'm a little bit excited, can you tell? <laughs> um, it's a new mini collection from Made to Surprise. It consists of some um, matching cardstock from Creative Craft Products, a paper pad, washi tape, sentiment stickers and some ephemera. So I'll go through those now in more detail with you. Sam will be live at 12.30 today on Craft Stash. You can see the collection in more detail, all the samples that we've made um, and just have a fun couple of hours while Sam demos. So let's start with the paper pack. This is a premium foiled card pack. It's got six foiled die cut topper sheets, 10 foiled pattern papers and 16 pattern papers. So let's have a look at those in more details. Just take them out of the packaging so we can see them clearly so we've got two sheets of this i thought these were really cool i have to admit so these work in conjunction with the um, puppets mechanism and you've got all your pieces here you've got your um, holes already cut for you so you just have to add it to the mechanism so we've got a witch we've got a ghost trick or treat witch squad so you've got two of those then we've got the skeleton and the um, spider there then we have two of these with the bat and cat and then we go into the foiled pattern paper so we've got these lovely pumpkins ghosts skulls bats spiders and their webs some sort of spooky um, faces there some more spiders bones the word boo it's a lovely starry night sky with the moon there I think I think these wild papers are gorgeous and then we go into our pattern papers so there's two of everything of these then so you've got this lovely bunting this purple stripe orange bats some spiders get the square pattern Some ghosts there. This lovely striped pattern with the purple and greens. I have to admit, I think this is my favourite out of the pack. Really love the colours on this one. And then this black and white stripe. So some beautiful pattern papers there. Lots of foiled um, sheets as well pretty much everything that you need to get started is within that and then to accompany the um, card pack you've got the perfect colors from creative craft products and this is 8x8 eight eight, 250 gsm you've got 12 sheets of three colors so we've got the black orange and green there and as you can see they match really well then with the card pack then to add some extra touches to your projects there are the sentiment and borders washi tape so again following on the color scheme and you've got various images and sentiments on this you've got happy halloween have a spooktacular day trick or treat delivering bugs and kisses the boo crew <laughs> and then you've got some cats ghosts pumpkins and bats there and then in the foiled sentiments sticker sheet you've got so all the um all the sheets are white and silver and you've got lots of sentiments on there i'll just pick out a few so you've got boo to you spooky wishes 
don't drink and fly <laughs> today is all about you so lots of lovely sentiments there apologies for the the glare from my light it is looking like halloween out there as i'm filming this this morning it's very dull and gray so hopefully you can see that okay so lots of lovely shine on there that's better and as i said some lovely sentiments and last but not least the spooktacular ephemera so i've got 80 pieces in there i've already popped mine into this container just so i can show you more um more of them in detail so we've got these two large houses here i think they they're really great um and then we've got moon pumpkin some witch's legs sticking out of the um brew there brewing some sort of potion um spiders hats broomsticks cobwebs so many lovely images in here as you can see there's lots in there to add all those extra details to your cards so there's all the lovely elements from the Mater Surprise Spooktacular collection I'm going to show you the samples that I've made next so I'll just bring in the turn reveal cards first of all so this is a 7x7 seven seven top folding card I've used the easy edges to create the grass border there um, ink blended the background added all the ephemera pieces and then use the sentiment stamp and heat embossed ha happy halloween so you just turn like so and the bat, bat pops up in the corner there i've made some with the witch before so i thought it would be um, different to have the bat popping up and i really like this large ephemera piece here with the house so my idea for the ink blended background came from this i like the green in the windows and then we've got the pumpkins, bats, the cat there, some really nice pieces. Then this one I thought I'd do slightly different. So again, it's a top folding card, stands up like so. So I've used the turn and reveal mechanism in a different way. So I cut it once with the sort of the angled arm and then the separate arm with the straight edge I cut that and I attached them together pop them up onto some foam and then attach the circular pieces so let me just hold it underneath and the witch moves around like so so I use the pattern paper from the pack and I just stamp these silhouettes just to give it a bit more interest heat embossed happy Halloween again and use all the lovely ephemera pieces to finish that off so i'll start with this one so we've got the cat there with the arms and tail moving wearing the orange witch's hat there some lovely ephemera pieces i really like the pattern paper with a foil decoration so you've got the moon and stars in that lovely purple pattern paper the next layer is the um, coordinating colored cardstock it is a white core so i thought it'd be really nice to dry emboss this and then you sort of buff away the design to reveal the white core and it it's an easel card so it stands up like so and i've um, added the sticker sentiment there happy halloween you scaredy cat <laughs> So you can see more of the de design on the inside there. So I have got um, a short video of me making this card, so keep an eye out for that. Then I made this side folding five by seven puppet card and the witch's arms and legs <laughs> move there. It's so fun. I've just added the pattern paper. Um, this is from the paper pack, so it's witch's squad and some ephemera pieces there to finish off the card. I really love this pattern paper. There's only um, two in the pack, so I'm trying to use it uh, wisely because I really love the design. So 
Then the last one is the skeleton. So his arms and legs move like so. I've um, popped Have a Spooky Day with the sentiment stickers there. I've used the orange um, coordinating coloured cardstock and the bones foiled paper. Finished it off with some ephemera pieces and this is also a white Picard. So I've popped Boo on the top there. <laughs> so fun. So I have filmed the tutorial for this so keep an eye out for that one. And then lastly I've made this treat shaker topped gift box I guess you would call it. So I've added half a Christmas bauble there on the top, some sequins and some micro beads inside to give those lovely shaker elements. I've then used the pattern paper to decorate and added all these lovely ephemera pieces on the front there. Trimmed the edges with some glitter cardstock and I've used the washi um, strips there to add trick or treat. So you open this up and there's some sweets inside. So generally I would do this for a Pringles can and I would leave obviously the Pringles inside. Um, but I had a spare one in my cupboard because I do like to decorate these. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, taking a look at the collection with me and the samples that I've made. So I always like to ask um, in the comments, which one is your favorite? So one, two, three, four, five, or six. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments below. So if you are interested in the Spooktacular collection by Made to Surprise, I'll link it in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The details for the Spooktacular collection. Spooktacular. Oh, oh, oh.